Oh boy, a shiny binder. Is that is that my trade binder of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Right, I'm back with our latest challenge, champion. Let's present our lucky winner with a shadow Pokemon and watch chaos be unleashed. Oh, foo -foo 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 -foo. oh nice. Our new champ is quite the appealing charmer. It makes a nice change from the parade of macho muscle man. Wait, this isn't happening. Father! Son. Oh my god, is that a Dr. Pepper that would be me. a can for me, TM? Yes. Sweet. That would be a can for you. Dr. Mary Pepper, trademark. It's a product of Texas. Brought to you by the Snapple Dr. Pepper Curing Company. Oh my gosh, also sponsored by Spider-Man Far From Home, the movie that came out this week? Yes. And you would be open to sponsorships from any of those that we just mentioned. Especially Marvel. Jesus Christ, if we got a sponsorship from Marvel. Hey, we put a, we get a sponsorship from Marvel. I will build you a recording studio. <laughs> and I'll retire. <laughs> Sorry, I'll leave now. Love you, Dad. Uh, who's the redhead with me? Her name's Rui. Uh, nobody likes her. What? The same guy who messed with us in Fanex City? Yeah, that's right. I'm Wes, aka You Say Fudo, but don't tell anyone that. Alright. Anyway, uh, Rui has one use in this game, and that's to tell us if a Pokemon's a Shadow Pokemon or not. And then she'll. She she leaves us alone. See, look, here she goes. Oh, it's Yanma. My favorite. Alright. You're gonna do this gold trick. The guns are grunts are in fact called peons, yes. <sighs> ASMR featuring Dr. Pepper. Oh, I hate drinking soda like that. Why'd I do that? Is it bad that I haven't had, like, a Dr. Pepper in, like, four days and I've genuinely been craving one? I might- that might be the sign of an addiction. That's not good. Alright, so... Mmm, shit. So if this was Generation 4, I definitely would be using this Yanma, but because it's not... I'm not gonna use it. Okay, I am going to try and put that Yanma to sleep, like the usual, with good old yawn. Yep. Uh, you'll notice that the Pokemon from Generation 2 and 1 have their models recycled from Stadium. It's most noticeable when it comes to the Pokemon from Generation 1, because like there's Machop. His model looks so bad. I mentioned it when we fought him a chop. Alright, on Bayleaf's turn, we are going to... We are going to throw... A... We're going to try a Pokeball because he's paralyzed and he's only a Yamma. And then we are going to switch out Slugma because that Ninkata is about to make our day real no good. And we're going to put in Quagsire. Alright, let's try it. But luckily, with all that money we just got, uh, we'll probably be able to get... Um, we'll be able to go buy some more Pokeballs. Alright, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to use a Great Ball on this one, damn. Alright, come back, Slugma. Quigsy. Supersonic. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, my brain. So, the thing you'll notice uh, that's really cool about this game. I didn't mention how much I liked it in the first stream. All the fights in this, ga in this game are double battles. Like, every single one. There's not a single fight that is a regular battle. And I love that. So much. Um, because double battles are one of those mechanics, like, all the battle, extra battle formats are just mechanics that I wish they would use more. 
Uh, double battle, like, it was introduced and it was used a bunch in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Um, like, just the right amount. But then it's like, oh, we're remaking Generation 1 with the Generation 3 engine. We can do double battles. And then they put in, like, two double battles. Instead of, like, actually going for it and making more double- and, like, putting in more battles. And it's just like we put in like two whole double battles congratulations now don't ask us for anything else ever again so it, it it's just really good that like hey do you have the urge for double battles well guess what here you go wonderful little game called Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD I also I, I do in fact remember rotation and triple battles I remember them so much that when they got taken out in literally the generation after, it was kind of sad. Did X and Y take out the... I know they aren't in Sun and Moon. I don't remember if X and Y took out triple battles and rotation battles. I know I never did one in X and Y. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, let's throw out a Razor Leaf. I know... Well, don't do regular like neutral damage because they're water bug and ground bug. Oh no, not the babies! Raid battles? What? Ugh. Oh, the Battle Royale mode. I think, it was, I think it was literally called Battle Royale, but it was like before the words Battle Royale in a video game were like, horrible. <laughs> I don't know, but it, all I know it was in a wrestling stadium and they introduced it. It's like, it, that mode in X and Y was, uh, Sun and Moon was so weird because they just didn't explain the rules good. Uh, and it could have definitely been explained way better. <laughs> yes, I have seen the Pokemon Masters trailer, and uh, my child Barry is back. Duking, this is where they were giving Shadow Pokemon to the winners of the battle challenges. Well, holy shit! <laughs> the door, the building that was locked, and we couldn't even like enter. <laughs> Who'd have guessed it? Yes, they're giving away shadow Pokemon to thugs for some reason. It doesn't look good. Grr, they were using the Coliseum to do that. How could they? But hey, my papa, this Pokemon was taken by Mir B as a prisoner. He did that? Mir B used a dirty move like that? It's papa's puzzle. I'm so worried that they might be mean to it. It's humiliating, but with Plusle in their filthy hands, my own hands are tied. He's not getting away with this, that rotten Mir B. But we're here now, we'll get Plusle back for you, isn't that right, Wes? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I know I can always count on you, Wes. You know it, girl. Something, something, card game on motorcycles. Yep, his battling is all business. As you know, Mir B, a man of business. You know what? Let's do a little bit of light reading, shall we? Hyper mode. Shadow Pokemon, perhaps because of their own overwhelming power, may behave abnormally at times. They may enrage and su engage in such behavior as ignoring orders, even turning on their own trainer in battle. This I have named hyper mode. On the plus side, Hyper Mode raises the critical ratio of Shadow Rush. However, Hyper Mode also prevents the use of items. We've already gotten this spill before. Calling the names, blah, 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 blah. further research is urgently needed. Pokemon Shadow Lab Chief Ein. Alright. That's right, the creator of the Shadow Pokemon is a dog! That one goes out to my Cowboy Bebop fans in the crowd here.
Anyway, as you saw, we only have three Pokeballs left, and we got $5,000 from winning the Coliseum. I am going to spend all 5,000 of those dollars on Great Balls. Because I need them. So you might have heard with the conversation that I had with my uh, with my dad uh, something about me editing a video. I don't fucking know how, but I guess he probably just said I can do it. Um, they want me to edit a commercial for them to put on Facebook, which I think is really cool. It's just one of those things that's like, man, I I love editing. Well, guess what, son? Show your editing prowess by making a professional looking commercial that we can put onto Facebook and show to people on the internet to make us look good. Yuck yuck my dude, what's good? I don't know if I'm gonna cut that conversation I just ha I had with my dad out of the video or whatever, or the YouTube video, but just know that yes, I am going to edit a YouTube commercial, uh, not a YouTube commercial, a Facebook commercial, and if you see it and you think it's bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, you like the crazy motorbike? I'm so sad that the crazy motorbike that Wes has gets replaced with a literal hover scooter. It's a, it's, it's not even, like, it's just a hover Vespa. And it's not even a hover Vespa for the entirety of the game. It's like a hover Vespa for like the second half of the game. Granted, it does get replaced with a Kyogre bo boat, which is pretty rad. So, okay. Hey dog, what's up? Okay. So Bayleaf has been totally purified. Um. If I had to choose a Pokemon I wanted to use more, it's probably going to be Quagsire over Furret. I don't think f I'm going to- oh, and Slugma's heart gauge is also all the way down. Did you just sneeze, dog? Well, at least it's not me sneezing. I'm going to switch in Furret. Okay. Um, this is purely because I want to get him- uh, I want to get him to the point where once Purification is unlocked, I can do it. I remember playing a demo for XD once a target even as a child and Yeah. Yeah. Specifically Umbreon. I need it. I get it. I gotta close my door. Okay. Um yeah, the problem with having Umbreon and Espeon. Like Espeon's okay, but having this tank of Umbreon makes the early game really slow. <laughs> it's not until you start catching shadow Pokemon that the game really picks up. Like, I... Uh... I, I don't blame people if they think the, like, the first 30 minutes to like an hour of the game just aren't fun. Because it's just... It's a... It, it's really slow in my opinion. Specifically because you're using an Espeon and an Umbreon. Umbreon, whose only good attacking move is Bite. Dog, if you're gonna keep sneezing, you gotta go. Um, Umbreon, whose only good attacking move is Bite. And Espeon, who literally just does all of the legwork for you. Fur it! Stop! God damn it. <laughs> The target demo was the first time it- well then you barely played any of the game. That's why I'm really glad XD- XD has the best idea for a starter ever, in the fact that it's the reverse of what happened in Pokemon Yellow, in which you get the Eevee, um, which is the best idea for a starter ever. Because then you have an Eevee, it's not an Espeon and an Umbreon. Which, Espeon's okay. A lot of people seem to like Umbreon. I don't like Umbreon. I might get lampooned and 
Um, and, um, what's the word? Exiled from the Pokemon community for saying those words. But I don't think Umbreon's a good Pokemon. It's a cool looking Pokemon, but not a very good Pokemon. Maybe in singles it's alright, but in this game, it's not good. And because I played this game- FUN! <laughs> I swear to God! Okay, well, dog's asleep now, so I'm just gonna close my door. So my family doesn't be all like, Parker, stop being loud. Oh no, back there. Oh, you especially can't do that in here. Alright, give me a second. Okay. It comes time to how Dark's not a good defensive type. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, look at it like this. At least it's not as shitty as Flareon. Let's make a physical attacking fire type in the generation in the first generation, where fire is a special move. And even then, in later generations, the only good fire move we're gonna give it that can actually take advantage of that physical. Uh, uh, strength is Flare Blitz. But hey, at least if you get the TM, you can teach the Flame Charge! Anyway, that was my, uh, that was my TED talk on how Umbreon isn't good. Oh, damn it. Oh, vending machine's out of order. There is a vending machine later in the game, and I, I remember where it is, but it's much later in the game. Like I said, it got introduced in the wrong generation. Oh, you son of a bitch. What do you think you're doing here? About to beat your punk ass. Uh, here, let's actually like critically analyze all of the fucking evolutions real quick. Jolteon, it's pretty good. It's fast and has a good special attack stat. Basically, all unelectric type needs to be good. Vaporeon. Also pretty good. Not as fast as Jolteon, but still has a very good special attack stat. Oh, uh, why is this region a wasteland? Because it's based off of Arizona. <laughs> That's not a joke. And if you have been to Arizona, it is, it is like, it's like 80% desert. I didn't, I didn't, I've never lived there, but I have been there many a times. Damn it, Bayleaf. But yeah, so, um, does Arizona Fallout 3, okay, this isn't like a post-apocalyptic wasteland, it's just, it's a desert, and it's kind of like, it, it's, it's, it's like, it's punk, you know? It's full of, like, outlaws. This is the only Pokemon game where I can say, like, like, you're actually a criminal in this game. People are always like, oh, I want to play the bad guy. Granted, you're not the bad guy for long. You're like the bad guy for the first 30 minutes of the game, and then you're immediately the good guy. But um, you you start as a criminal in this game, and it's, it's really cool. You start as a criminal who backstabs their organization and steals their, like, the, the, the robot arm I got on my left arm here. Or, my left arm <laughs> had to do the fucking finger L and R thing. Ooh, wait, hold on. Oh, Ruby, really get out of the way. Um, like yeah, you're you're a criminal in this game. It's it's a it's a punk, I guess is the best word for it. Oh damn it. Like I wouldn't call it like a post-apocalyptic because it's not. We still have a supermarket that gives you all your potions and stuff and free healthcare. Um, but it definitely is a, is a cool setting for a Pokemon game. 
Bandana guy Geats would like to battle. Oh, you sorry. Sorry, man. Yeah, it's like they they have this cool setup for this character and they only explore it for like the first 30 minutes of the game. Um they could have explored it more if they went with the original plans for XD's story, where West was supposed to be the main ga bad guy. But whoopsie doopsies, that didn't happen. And instead we got a much worse story in XD, where it's just, oh no, old man that you thought from the very beginning was the bad guy, is the bad guy. Now you know why I keep calling him a fucking knockoff Yu-Gi-Oh character. His coat- We are in a building and yet his coat continues the flap. It is time to da 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 duel. But yeah, uh, how XD was originally supposed to go is that Wes was supposed to be the main bad guy and the final boss of the game. And the entire story was after defeating Cypher, he became the boss and became so power hungry that he started creating shadow Pokemon again and became like this almost like tyrannical leader of the group. It's, it's, it, it would have been such a fucking cool game. Or like twist. But no, we had to get Grievel, old man in space chair. Um I'm just gonna switch out for it for I don't wanna use Espeon, it's already under ah fucking we'll throw an Espeon, why not? I'm normality detected, the target's lock on. Blech. It's time for your boy Remoraid and Magnemite. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool! First battle I send Espeon out in, and it's immediately useless. Well, let's hope that Razor Leaf will defeat. Remoraid, because I'm sending in Slugma to get rid of that Magnemite, because it has Flamethrower. Oh, we did. Wow, guys, why you got this so mean? Alright, who's Thundershock hitting? Probably Slugma. Yeah. I cannot wait for Slugma to become a Mag Cargo so it has an actual good defense stat. <laughs> I love his little, like, the little back and forth Bayleaf does. Like, he's like, I'm, I'm ready, boss. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. I, get, I got this shit. I got it. That Thundershock's for Slugma, ain't it? Ah! Oh yeah, no, I'm well aware of the struggle of using of using Mag Cargo, but you know, it'll it'll be a fun little challenge, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Quagsire, because it's part ground. We, uh, I'm just gonna keep using Razor Leaf because I don't want I don't want to bother having Bayleaf go into hyper mode. Not right now. Okay, cool. Quagsire didn't pop into hyper mode. Uh, <sighs> you, you son of a bitch. Wait, hold on. Quagsire's faster than Magnemite? Oh, you poor Magnemite. You poor thing. Oh, my brain. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, by the way, uh, peoples in the chat, uh, think up of names for Bayleaf and Slugma, because once we purify them, we are going to nickname them, and I think it would be neat to grab names from chat instead of just coming up with my own names. If people in chat can't come up with names, I have names. Well, at least I have one for Bayleaf. I don't have one for Slugma, really. Okay, can I open this door? Sweet. Guessing you're a battle. My beloved Pokemon, see? Mm, fresh prey. Oh. Cool. Also, uh, once again, my favorite trainer class, Bandana Guy Loba. Coming in to save the day. Looper's about to die. I'll I'll snipe Wingle. Damn. I remember as a kid when I was playing through uh, Pokemon Soul Silver, I was trying my hardest to uh, to get a. Um, to get an Espeon. And it was the most frustrating experience of my entire life. Because I was just... Like, I was trying everything I knew to raise happiness. And it just was like... It, it just was refusing to evolve. Okay, so this is the introduction to how incredibly generous... Um, these things are still called, like, Pokeballs. Or, like, Gift Balls. Uh, but, as you can see, they're clearly chest. Uh... As you can see, oh, we just got five great balls. These things are incredibly generous with their items, and I I will not complain. XD even more generous. It is crazy in XD. There is a chest in XD that's like, here, have like five PP ups. Well, I think it's like three PP ups. Voltorb! Really finesse beyond. Here we go. You know what? Helping hand. Finally, a game where helping hand is useful because every battle is a double battle. So it's not a bad idea to have helping hand. Aw, Sky, you you make me blush. Oh wow, never mind. I probably did like a chunk more damage than it would have done without the help. <laughs> oh boy, howl, here we go. <laughs> I think I'll just keep going with Razor Leaf and just have confusion clean up everyone else. We're gonna get rid of that Voltorb! Because it knows Shockwave, which can't miss, but it could possibly also know Self-Destruct, which I don't like. Though I, I'm one of the few people that actually kind of enjoy using Voltorb and Electrode. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, because they're just so fucking fast. It's just like, <laughs> if you want a fast special sweeper and you don't have like the options of regular Pokemon games Voltorb and Electrode are not bad choices they will usually go first in every in all in practically every battle you get into I'm gonna say this, we do need whenever we do need to get a Pokemon that when we name it, it has to be a Yu-Gi-Oh reference because Just look at look at Wes. Anyone who disagrees with me that Wes isn't a knockoff Yu-Gi-Oh character, go away. <laughs> 
because you're wrong. I don't want I don't want to be your friend. <laughs>